here we go again, boys. Another overnight trip. Right now we're leaving Venice Marina. Had to wait a little bit because there was some very, very inclement weather this morning. Lots of lightning, but now it's all cleared up. We're about to take our 37 Freeman with quad 300s 150 miles one way after we catch bait. These trips are the coolest. It's a ton of work. They're very, very hard, but they are always worth it. We always see some awesome stuff. It's supposed to be slick calm, and I'm excited for what's in store for us. These trips are always the best and very, very fun. We'll see you guys when we get out there catching bait. Big mama. Nice. All right, we're out here in the West Delta, jigging up some bait with some beakies. It was pretty good for a little bit, but we hit some really big low points. It's just there's no tide, and they didn't have any like corner of a rig they were sticking on for a long time, so we had to run around a lot. But we got them. Making a long run now, rigging up some rods and going to the main show. We're getting a marlin rod rig, a couple ballyhoo rigs just in case, and putting some new Sea Works 40 pound fluorocarbon leader on uh, all of our rigs. Here it is. Boom. The good stuff. And we'll be out there hopefully soon. It's slick calm as you can see, so it'll be a pretty nice and fast, easy run. All things considered. All right. Three hours later, we're finally here. We got a really, really good report from our buddies that came out here earlier today, all the way from Venice as well. Um, they left early in the morning. We came here in the afternoon. Good things to be said. So we're gonna go start the stack and whack in that order. not know he's hooked what's going on you getting chased all right can i see one of those rod butts Here. all right just be really careful with this don't bring the rod up too high don't you ain't got them too hard we do have a light leader so just be careful with them nice and smooth that's one zero by the way you see this idiot right here this is alexander sewell one of my best friends but you know what alex does a lot of does a lot of that does a lot of running his mouth talk that smack he's always saying how much more fish he hooks up than me, and how much fish he hooks up more than everybody else. Well, guess what? Today we kept score. We were setting the record straight. Once and for all, who was better on the day of hooking more yellowfin tuna? There's a little bit of rules that go with this scenario. One, fish has to be landed. That's the number one contingency of that. Two, if you have to put a rod in a rod holder and someone else picks it up, then the person that casts it out, that's a half point divided. Most points at the end wins. There you go, there's a little game for the video. What the heck, there's a free swimmer right there! What in the world? The free swimmer five foot behind the boat! All right, walk with me. Did it really, wow. All right, one down. Nice work, gang. Oh, oh man. There's another one. Whoa, dude, slow rolling. Oh, oh, yeah, that was cool. They're here, boys. It. Sorry, 
right, someone take this rod. One and a half to go, one and a half for Alex. Oh my god. That's six pounds. No, it's half for we'll, we'll get we'll do it. That's a half for you. And one and a half for me. You're at one and a half right now. Yeah, I know, yeah. And you're at one half. You have not achieved one yet. That's fine. Okay, head, head back up. Head back up towards the house. To the helm. To up the rail. Up the rail. There you go. Nice. Comes the line down. Oh, Bobby. Short pump. Whoa, fast. Oh, nice one. Yeah, good grade. Good grade. Get him, get him. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, lock that Got him. Oh, Woo! Oh, nice work. It's your birthday. All right. Yeah. Man, look at that guy. Woo! Dobby. I'm gonna hook him. Alright. Yeah. Ready? Oh yeah, that's a real one. He's way, he's way, way out. Oh yeah, he is peeling. Stop. No, he's not. All you gotta do is just talk about how much line they're ripping out and then they usually stop. Woo! Nicely done, Azul. Also ready right knife. What happens when you're on five boats? All your stuff goes to different places. <laughs> All right. Go way too fast. Got color over here. Oh, look, you got long sickles. Healthy one. Healthy fish. Love to see it. Boom. Oh man, I was so. I'm about to be so happy. Oh, what, you thought my gaff was gonna crack like yours? Yeah. Dang. He's angry. Uh oh, don't mess up, Sul, you're on camera. That's a good one, what the hell? Wow. That's also two and a half to one and a half. That's a good one. That's a, <laughs> dude, that's the one I saw air out earlier. Ooh, there they are. Oh, you're right. Back in the wall. There we go, Drew, get right through. There. Come back, come back, come back. They're doing it now, folks. All right. Who wants this one? All right, go ahead, me. Oh, yeah. That DTR is bent, buddy. And so is the Terminator, but. <laughs> nice and smooth. Yep. Yep. Back down. Down, down, down. <laughs> so. He is so cute. You got a chunk out of him, huh? Something got it cranked down again. Oh, so. yeah, Marlon. Marlon hit him? It's like a pill. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a healing wound for sure. Yeah. You can tell it's it's not fresh, fresh. Ooh. 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 It's sushi grade. He looked good. This happens a lot more than you would think. Here he comes. Ooh, come to daddy. Oh, come more cranks. You gotta crank down, you do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that Marlin messed him up. That is a healing wound, though. It ain't brand new. Nice. All right. Ooh, Marlin. Please don't hurt me. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh look, you can see where he, he mouthed him. Check that out. 
Huh? Lower jaw, upper jaw. What did you say? You can see where he tried to mouth him, huh? I guess that's what that is. Took him and shook him. I was thinking it was from his bill. Multiple hits, or is it's not like him biting like that? I, I mean, know. he probably came at him and yeah. Whack, whack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's cool. Keep on coming over. Or get him pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that was on my bait. Oh, uh, you? No, I got him. He freaking annihilated that thing. Oh, yeah. Who wants this one? Woo! Got him. All right. Five minutes. Hell in a cell. Oh yeah. Come on. Take off. Be a yellowfin, not a bonita. Whatever, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Probably. Thank you. Don't freak out, don't freak out. I'm from Jacksonville, I'm a Floridian as well. Got a Florida license tag. Running out of space. You got room for one more. Pretty much. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So unless this fish comes off, which for our record today probably doesn't look like it's going to happen, I officially lost to Sewell, but he did sabotage me on one set earlier where he did a semicircle into the side that his bait was on, and he just sabotaged me here. We were making the last set. Obviously, I was in within half a point of him. I uh, did two scoops of freebies out, and he saw us marking tuna towards like the where he would usually stop, but. Well, I told him to give it more juice to get further away from the baits and he thumbed his bait and brought further away from the and he saw that the fish were marking better the more and more that we pushed away from our baits and he just thumbed the spool and brought his bait closer to mine so there's perks on both sides I can see what's going on out there better and he can see what's on the screen so he cheated me out of a win technology win <laughs> pretty much it's all right it's all right it was a good it was a good uh good competition very cool so that boat right there is a party boat it's called a bonner that's made in louisiana so that boat right there it's a party boat uh it's called a bonner they're made in louisiana and if you have watched the channel for a long time i got my start in this industry 10 years ago on that exact same hole and that exact same deck setup too the pilot house is the exact same everything's the exact same so that's always cool to see stuff like that uh, legendary Mayport Princess, Captain George Strait, my first experience on the water, being a deckhand on that party boat, which is why Alex pokes at me for being the unhook master, but you want to get good at unhooking fish and grabbing fish, uh, work on a party boat that, that only uh, bottom fishes. You get good at a lot of things really fast. Nice, buddy. Good job, gang. Yeah, guys. That's pretty awesome. Oh, he's got a lucky fin, too. He's got a double fin. Inverted Nemo. Woo! He's got two double fins. Wow, double lucky. That's kind of cool. Check him out. Yeah. Just see that? You can see he's got, you know, a double fin right here. You can see, like, honestly, that's just, like, the outline of it's what it would be. 30 minutes. Two hours and 30 minutes limits for the double lucky tuna. It's a hell of a trip there, Bubba. That was a uh, fast and efficient, the way that Alex and Joe do stuff. But that was fun. We're going to go uh, get our limit of snapper, put it on top of that. Oh, no, don't do that. Relax. I don't think we could fit much more fish in there. We're gonna try to though. Pretty awesome. Beautiful afternoon, beautiful sunset we're about to have. Beautiful yellowfin tuna. Damn near overflowing our box. All right. Back like we never left. All right. Uh, we just got in. We got in at like one o'clock, so decided to uh, just go home, go to sleep. Obviously, we have an entire free day, so we're just gonna play the fish right now. Had to wait out some storms, so wonderful pop-ups, full speed ahead this time of year. But we're about to hang the fish and cut them all. 
All right. Hung up. The biggest one ended up being 65 pounds gutted, so he was probably close to 70 whenever got him in the boat. Fully gutted. It's pretty awesome. Let's go knock him out. Tuna. Tuna. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fillet this one in coordinates with the uh, big blue marlin that we saw at that rig that was right next to this one that this fish was at. Presumably a blue marlin bite. We're gonna see what this looks like. It's obviously healed a little bit. Like this isn't just brand new. Like it's smooth. It's not. It wasn't bleeding or anything. We're just gonna see what the meat looks like just for curiosity. Insane thing. Here. Standard issue seven inch sword knife. Look at that, there's a hole all the way in there. So, <laughs> wasn't mine. Yeah. Oh no, that's where the gaff shot was, huh? No, oh, that's where the gaff shot was. I don't know, he looks fine. Well, oh no, you can kind of see it right here. See how it's kind of not so hot? I don't know. Up pretty good though. Pretty resilient fish. Very cool. All right. See you guys when I do that. Thinking the kitchen. Oh yes. The trick to steaks is you don't move them. You don't move them. Uh oh. Once you set them down, you don't move them. Roger that. Mmm. We are in the kitchen. Back fast. 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 Black. Flashback back and forth my, with a one wonderful my name Jamalin on Instagram. We're cooking some steaks. We're gonna have some surf and turf with some yellowfin tuna that I brought. We got it wrapped up right now, kind of getting it padded off and dried off and getting it to room temp. And we're gonna sear it and we're gonna eat it with some beautiful Trader Joe's filet mignons. But uh, I'm just gonna kind of do it typical easy way. I think I'm just gonna do salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of Cajun seasoning, but it's gonna be really, really good. Oh yes, she's got that going, I got this going. A little bit of oil in the pan. Oh yeah. It doesn't get much better than that, huh honey? It's gonna be yummy. It's gonna be very, very good, I'm very excited. All right, phase one, complete. Ooh, that was All right, I'm about to get these cut. Steaks are resting. We're about to have one heck of a meal, honey. <laughs> oh, that one's got the thing in it. No, it's just a burn mark from something. Just All right, Jamie about. told me that. Hold on to be on video with this she's gonna give Don't me the use your teeth to open things yeah thank you for the thank you for the <laughs> the advice she's giving me a quote-unquote perfect jamie bite which is one part sriracha so getting some of that that old pickle ginger out the jar i love ginger like a lot of it you're a big ginger girl. Yeah. I just dip my chopsticks inside the sriracha because if not, it's going to be too hot. So you can, you can pick out how much heat you want. Mm. Is it delicious? All right. I got to do the perfect Jamie bite too. I guess there's a, nat uh, she, Jamie told me there's a national sriracha, 
shortage. Yeah, like the actual sriracha. I don't really like this kind. Really? It's like got it's got like a smoky flavor to it. Yeah, but well, that Texas. This is the Texas P brand. Whatever. I'm not a huge sriracha guy, but that's I mean, kind of weird. It's not. A, it doesn't have that like peppery heat to it. Yeah. It's s'more. S'more. S'more smoky. It's smoky. <laughs> Well, I get to try it now. I'm gonna interrupt your dinner so you can watch. So you can first of all film me and then coach me okay. through a quote unquote perfect Jamie bite. All right. All right, I'm gonna do that. Phase yeah. one. Uh huh. Phase two. That's really good ginger you bought, by the way. Is I it? I don't know. Straight out, straight out of Publix. Yeah. What is that? AFC. That's yeah, good it was good. I like it. I don't like the pink kind. Really? I thought that's like the standard issue uh, sir, or uh, pickled ginger. I mean, I don't know. Mm. All right, I got the sriracha on. You gonna put a little cucumber? Cucumba. <laughs> cucumba? Cucumba. Have you, leave a comment if you've seen the cucumba video with the Jamaican um, singing a song about the health benefits of cucumba. That's what they call cucumbers in Jamaica. I'm struck, why can't I do this one? There we go. Kakumba. All right. <laughs> Get my ass kicked right now. By two sticks. God forbid. All right, all right. Here we go. There we are. That's really good. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know, I can't. Trying to like taste it, the ginger's really good with it. So while I'm you're- I'm gonna put more sriracha in it. While we're here, taste that funny looking salad really quick. Oh, homemade arugula. Uh, what's in this, honey? Carrots, Coos arugula, Coos red Coos. Yeah, couscous, red pepper. I thought it was corn, but. No, it's phenomenal. Right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it like, not like what you expected it to taste like? No, not at all. We've been on a big arugula kick lately. Now I get to taste the, the wonderful steak that you made for me. Isn't it funny? I said I've, I've been using the five inch uh, sword utility knife more than any other knife. Yeah, you can see why I eat it. I use it when I eat dinner. Oh, honey. Oh, I love a good fly. Is it, better wow. than, is it better than the steak you had last night? Yeah. It's funny, folks. This is the third night in a row I've been eating steak. Uh, we went to Longhorns one night just because we were tired. and It was a late night and she worked late and I was editing all day. Went to Longhorns. I got the, uh, I think I got the outlaw ribeye there. That was phenomenal. There's something to be said about Longhorn steaks. I've always thought they've been amazing. God, that was a good steak. Then we went to like a nice restaurant last night, like a tr true date night. It's called the Firestone. I had really, really good food, but they like overcooked my steak and the flavor wasn't as good as Longhorn, but this blows it out the water. I mean, this is golly. Just, it's so, it's very, very hard to beat a good, a good cut of filet cooked by a uh, professional chef, like a one, my name, Jamie Lynn. I've cooked a lot of them. Ooh, I'm cooking a lot more from now on. You open the bag of worms. I have worms. to taste it. I haven't even tasted it yet. My by my, you got a little here. You, I, no, you, oh, <laughs> that comes free with your meal today. Thank you. <laughs> no, because yours is more rare than mine. Oh, okay. Yours is thicker than mine. I'm a little thicker. <laughs> yeah, I don't like mine as. This might be a little too rare for me. My compliments to the chef, honey. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really, really good. That was so unconvincing. <laughs> You're just so in the zone with your food. I feel like when you cook your own food, you're like dissecting it and thinking yeah. about what you could have done better. I think it's phenomenal. Okay, we are, I'm very, very excited to eat the rest of this. It's getting cold. What a wonderful meal from a wonderful woman. Uh, Really fun trip. Glad I was able to share with you guys. And uh, I love y'all. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. More info for the 5-inch 
Sword utility knife and all my blade knives are below. As always, I'm like all sorted up right now too. I didn't even like notice that. The Kobia shirt, the hat, but uh, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Say bye, Jamie. Bye, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> you say it like that. <laughs> you told me to say bye, Jamie. Okay, that's 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 fair. Bye, bye, guys.